Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee, and I just want to do something just a little different today. I'm going to do a uh, an unboxing and a quick review on a fire starter. And the reason why I decided to grab this is because I have often gone out to my bee yard. My bee yard's about half an hour from my house, a semi-remote area. The nearest gas station may be 10 minutes away driving. I've gone out there on a bunch of occasions and forgotten a lighter or had a lighter that's run out of gas or I've lost it and I haven't been able to light my smoker, right? And as a beekeeper, that's, that's a death sentence. Whenever you're unable to light your smoker, you always need it. So I decided to just throw one of these in my kit so that I have a fire starter, right? Now, the reason why I grabbed this one is actually this was a gift, so I didn't have much to say in it, but... Uh, um, the reason why I like this is because it's got the magnesium strip and a ferro rod attached in one. Usually you get one or the other, but uh, this combines them both in one. And the basic principle is you take your belt clip here, which is removable, you detach it, you scrape the magnesium off, then that's your tinder, and you would put that right on whatever accelerant or whatever uh, fuel you're going to use for your smoker. And then you strike sparks onto it with this ferro rod. So, uh, so I'm going to give it a try just to see if it works. And if it does, I throw it into my bee kit and I forget about it. And hopefully this will probably pull me out of a couple of emergencies a couple of times a year. So thanks for joining me. Let's see how it works. Okay, so we're going to do the uh, unboxing. Hopefully I don't need a tool to open this tool. Let's see. Oh, it's pretty easy. Fence is killing me. Is it killing you? Who knew the unboxing would take so long? Oh, there we go. We've got an edge. That's all we need. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, the first thing is it's very light. So if that's important for you, important for your pack, that's what you got. Now, let's see. If I can figure out how this clip comes off. One thing about this thing is it's got no instructions, right? I mean, most of it is pretty basic, but getting this clip off might not be so basic. There it goes. Oh, okay. Just seem to be that those two, these two uh, pieces grab onto it. That's it. All right. So whistle test. Compass thermometer both work, but again, both uh, I wouldn't be depending on those. Looks like there's a little plastic cover for the mirror. So again, if, if this were, if you were depending on this solely as your survival mirror, it's pretty small. I mean, it's better than nothing, but you'd want a proper mirror with a little window through it so that you can see. And where's it got the screwdrivers and stuff? Oh, I guess it's considering this. Yeah, okay, this is it. That's your screwdriver. That's your bottle opener and can opener. And those are your hex wrenches. So, okay, whatever you say. So now, we're going to just try and operate it. We're going to uh, just try and uh, and chip off a bunch of magnesium on a, uh, on a bit of uh, accelerant or fuel here and just see if it works. So all I'll do in the field with the bees is just scrape off some magnesium on a piece, piece of tissue paper. I usually have tissue paper and newspaper as my, as my tinder. And then the main fuel is then uh, wood chips, right? So you scrape on a decent pile like that. I usually do like, you know, no, no less than a dime size. And then what you're going to do is strike the ferro rod side here to get a spark and try to drop the spark right on the right on the magnesium. That doesn't work so good. Okay, so here the problem that I'm having is that 
I can't get the tinder close enough to the uh, to the paper because of the rim of this container. So let's just make an adjustment here for the demonstration. Put it like this. And then safety first. Let's see if something like this will work out well. Okay, let's see if that bringing the rod a lot closer should should help me get a spark on there. There she goes. All right, so there you go. You got your flame going. Only the second try, right? So you have to call this a success. As far as the product goes, it's light. It's not cheap. This was forty-two bucks Canadian. So throw in your tax, and you're talking better part of 50 bucks um, in US dollars I don't know probably 12 bucks no something something significantly less but um, if I can figure out how to put this back on oh, there it is so you know I recommend this product it, uh, it seemed to work well for me. If for the beekeeping, it's going to be just an emergency item that I got in there. Forget about it until the time I really need it. And then hopefully it'll save me at least a half hour round trip to go buy a lighter from the gas station. So thanks for joining me at 40 Honeybee.